Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in ASP.NET through client side how to get selected grid view row into text box controls using jQuery. And here we got the final output. Notice we got the select option in the grid view control as well as the text box controls. Now I'm selecting the row from this grid view control, Charan. See here we got the Charan details in the text box control. Karan, Peter, Steve. That's it. We have used jQuery to get the selected grid view rows into text box controls. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I am creating a new ASP.NET project. Go to File, New Project. And from the web templates, I am selecting ASP.NET Web Application and the .NET Framework I am using 4.6.1. Selected Grid View Row jQuery. Click OK. And from the templates, I'm selecting empty, click OK. And the application is created successfully. Let's open Solution Explorer. Now in this project, I'm adding a new web form page. Right click the project name. Add web form. The web form name is grid view jQuery row. Select Click OK. And here we got the source page of the newly created web form page. Now between this form and due tag, I'm adding center tag h1 header. How to get selected grid view rows into text box. using jQuery horizontal line now after the horizontal line first I'm adding on grid view control open toolbox in the data folder there is a grid view control and here we got the grid view control now my first step I want to bind a table from SQL Server database using SQL data source so go to design mode highlight the grid view and notice there is a small button which is a grid view task click that one choose the data source new data source I'm selecting SQL database the ID for the data source is the SQL data source one click OK new connection I'm creating a new connection user pc is the sql server name i'm selecting the database name from the drop down list i'm selecting the sample db which is a user database test connection is succeeded okay okay click next and this is the connection string and i'm saving this connection string in the web.config file next now I'm selecting a table from this selected database the employee table which contains four columns I want to display the name email and salary next test query and here we got the preview of the table click finish that's it we have just binded the employee table to this grid view control let's check the now let's check the basic output how it looks the employee table is binded to the grid view control or not Google Chrome and here we got the output the employee table is binded to this grid view control we have just finished our first target binding the employee table to this grid view control now my next target is I will add a new column to this grid view control with a link buttons which is a select option after that, I will add some text box controls, name, email and salary. 
After that, I will add the jQuery script. Whatever the rows I select with the link button, I want to display those records into the text box control. So let's add a new column to this grid view control with the link button and text box controls. Stop. Switch to the source mode. Now in the grid view columns, I'm adding item tam template field, sorry, ASP template field, item template. In this item template, I'm adding the link button, open toolbox. The link button will be in the standard folder, the link button. I'm giving text for the link button, is a select. Just delete this one, I don't require. And also I'm changing the link button ID to LNK select. That's it, we have added a new column with the link button to this grid view control. Now the next one is, after the SQL data source, I'm adding table, border is equals to 1, TR, table headers, Uh, sorry, this is not table headers. We don't require table headers. We need the TD. We need the rows. Let's add the text box control. The ID of the text box I'm changing to TXT name. Name. Let's copy this. Email. Change the text box IDs, email, salary. That's it, we have done the designing part. Now we need a jQuery script. Let's open google.com. Type for latest jQuery CDN Google. Enter. From the search results, notice the first option is a hosted libraries. Click that one. In the Google hosted libraries, there's a contents option here. Click for the jQuery. And here you can find the different snippets, the versions. I'm selecting the latest version, which is a 3.3.1 copy that jQuery script and add in our project header folder source page in the source page let's add that script now inside the script tab we'll write the functionality when I click this link button I want to get this bounded field name email salary should be displayed in this text box controls so First, I'm adding the link button CSS class. Link class. Dollar document dot. I'm adding on function. The on function takes some parameters. The first one is the event. The event I'm adding between double quotes is a click event comma let's add the link button CSS class link between double quotes comma when we are adding class in the jQuery we need to add dot function I want to display those selected rows into the text box control. So we require the bound field CSS class also. Item style CSS class is equals to text name. Item style dot hyphen CSS class is equals to text email 
item style dot class css class is equals to text salary after that the javascript dollar between double quotes square brackets i'm adding id star is equals to i'm adding the id of the text box control which is a text name dot val method dollar between double quotes now between these double quotes i'm adding the bound field css item style css class which is a text name i'm pressing here we have to add the prefix dot comma dollar this dot closes method between double quotes the closest method i want to display in the text box control which is in the tr tags so let's add the tr dot html here we have to close one more bracket let's copy this one paste here and paste here the second one for the text email bound field for the text email and the last one is the text salary css class of the bound field after that written false that's it we have done the complete coding part using jquery select a rows from the grid view control to display in the text box control let's check the output google chrome and here we got the final output notice we got the select option in the grid view control as well as the text box controls now i'm selecting the row from this grid view control Charan. See here we got the Charan details in the text box control. Karan, Peter, Steve. That's it. We have used jQuery to get the selected grid view rows into text box controls.